We Dad, appreciate Dada it. Data Beats has a question. What's the question? Is an i7 8700K on a Z370 obsolete for the upcoming 3000 series green team GPUs? He wants to play AAA games, 144 hertz at 1440p. First of all, thank you for the support. Second of all, thank you for asking a proper question. Yes. Attention everybody. He asked a wonderful question because what he asked was, he named his current CPU, his current motherboard, he asked about the upcoming 3000 series of GPUs, and then he stated what kind of games nice. he wanted to play at what resolution and at what refresh rate. I love you, man. That is <laughs> two gold stars for you. That is how you ask a proper question. Yep. Because too many people would say, I have an 8700K, well, should, yeah. should I upgrade? Or I want to play games. <laughs> what games? What resolution? What? Get, get the eight ball. <laughs> yeah, for those people. You asked a great yes. question. Thank okay. you. Okay. Is it obsolete? No. Yes, it is. Oh, it is? Yes. Sorry. But that doesn't mean I'd replace it today because the 3000 isn't out yet. Correct. I would plan on building a new computer when the 3000 comes out. We'll see because then the Intel will be out. But also Zen 3 will be out. Exactly. That's what and he might want Zen 3 instead of Intel. He might. Because, when the, when, because here's the other thing. RTX 30 series, RDNA 2, Big Navi, Correct. Zen 3 are all launching September or October. Yes. The Intel chips will be out, and it's quite yes. possible we'll have news about Rocket Lake at that point. That's true. But I wouldn't change anything today, because if you're planning on buying a 30 series, if you have an 8700K today, you can live with it for six months. But if you're planning on upgrading to a 3080 or 3080 Ti, and you want to play triple games at... 1440p, 144 frames per second, six cores and 12 threads going forward, that's going to be a big fat negative, Ghost Rider. That's a negative on the flyby. It is. Mm -hmm. I'm not arguing. You, sh you shouldn't argue. No. But you can if you want to. I can, can I? Argue if you want to. You can argue if you want to. Um, what else? What else? What else did we want to talk about? Well, for AAA gaming at 1440p, 144 hertz, you're going to need everything, aren't you? Yes. Like everything. You'll need CPU, GPU, the best RAM. video card, the best CPU, all of the things. AAA games at 144 frames per second at 1440p Please. is... Let me put it this way. An i9-9900K at 5 gigahertz today with an RTX 2080 Ti will not do it. You might get about 110 to 120 frames per second in Ghost Recon Breakpoint at those settings. And that's at high, not ultra. So he'll have to go to medium? No, it just, it just won't do it. He'll need like an i9-10900K, 10 core at 5.3 gigahertz with a 3080 Ti. <laughs> or maybe Zen 3. We haven't seen if Zen 3 is the performance boost that they're claiming. If it's 15% faster, it is entirely possible that Ryzen 9 4900X will be faster than the i9. Aye. So that's why I'm saying he should wait till yeah. October because until wait until both Intel and AMD have launched and then you could decide what to buy. Choices.